So wh what I want to encourage you is, you know, we're talking about not only what the fundamentals are, but then how to practice them. So not only practicing them on the range, because we love going to the range, but honestly, going to the range is a big ordeal. It's a big time investment and it's a big financial investment. So if you can practice in your house, like literally five minutes today, if you can just pull your gun out, verify it's unloaded or, and have somebody else check it and then be able to use like this laser cartridge, you know, just five minutes. Oh my gosh, the amount of benefit you're gonna get from that is gonna be phenomenal. Uh, over time, those five minutes, it just compounds. And it's, it's a better way to practicing than just going to one session. And I'll be honest, going to the range and shooting does not mean you're practicing. You guys know that saying, practice makes... Perfect. Yeah. Practice, if, if I'm practicing doing it wrong, I get really good at doing it wrong, right? So practice is gonna make it permanent, uh, but now if you practice it right, then you're gonna get perfect, right? I talk to people all the time, like, oh man, I shot 800 rounds this week, and then I go shooting with them, I'm like, dude, you're like, what were you doing during those 800 rounds? Like, obviously not the right practice. And that's where it's really important you practice it right. Um, this is a replica pistol. This is a, uh, this one actually uses green gas. And uh, it, I mean, it looks like, other than the, the tip here, it looks like a real Walther PPQ. And these are actually really cool. I didn't show this, but you can actually do like mag changes. You can rack the slide, everything like a real gun. You can lock the slide back and it functions like a real gun. I prefer the green gas over the CO2 because with the CO2, this is the, the this is the magazine to that P365, but you see it's got the CO2 cartridge. In order to change it out, I gotta change that cartridge out, which is okay. The CO2 actually has more, more like power, I feel like, than the green gas, um, but, I think it's a little bit more maintenance in some way. Green grass essentially it's propane with some oil and there's a hole and all I do to refill it is it just takes a second. I basically do that and now it's refilled. So it's a pretty easy process to refill the green, green grass ones. Um, but now it'll you know function the way it's supposed to. So it's a really like neat training tool. Um, and I don't have the BBs and stuff. In fact, I disabled the magazine, so it won't work. But what I want to show you is the Mantis system. So the Mantis system, and I'll pull up on the website so you can see. And Alicia actually made a video on it. Um, here's the video she made on it. You can, it's on the resource page. But on our website here, there's two of them. There's the X3 and the X10. Uh, and these are the, so there's the X3. And the X10, and for the majority of you, honestly, like uh, I know some people say, oh, you always need the X10. You don't really need the X10 for for most cases. The the X10 is going to give you, uh, sh so the X3 will do handgun and rifle and do all these things. Uh, the X10 is going to do shotgun, archery, draw analysis, and recoil analysis, and they can add a lot more stuff to the X10. It's just got more sensors in it. Um, but for what what most of the people in this call is going to do is the x3 is going to cover it um, but so the way that it works is uh, let me grab one of these so here's this is all it is like this is the mantis and you you can't tell the difference between x3 and x10 just by holding it we have x10s for the demo um, but the the way that it works is it, it attaches to your gun it uses this lock so it slides on the rail then it locks into place so this gun happens to have a rail on it. And so what I'll do is I'll slide it on and I'll lock it into place. Okay, so it's locked in there. If your gun doesn't have a rail, uh, so like this, the Smith & Wesson um, shield doesn't have a rail, uh, they make these magazine rails, basically you take off the base plate of your magazine and you put this on there instead. And then that way uh, it's gonna lock into there and it, it's down here away from where you're shooting. Uh, the nice thing about the mag rails are you can put it in your standard holster, whereas this one, you know, that's going to get in the way of the holster. So if you wanted to do holster work on it. Um, and this thing will work either um, at your house, dry fire or live fire. So it's a really awesome training tool. Now there's an app. So the app is free. Just pulling it up. So the Mantis app. The way you connect to the Mantis is you just press the button on the bottom of the Mantis. It starts flashing and I hit connect. It uses Bluetooth and they, they talk. 
Now what the Mantis is going to do is while you shoot, it just feels movement. So it feels, basically it's going to, um, it's going to do like XY movement. So uh, any movement up, it's going to graph it. Any movement down, any left and right movement, it's going to graph it. And so what it does, it sends that data to your phone and your data has it or your phone has it. And then what happens is after the shot, it analyzes it and tells you real quick, like what you're doing. It's a, it's all instant. Like you don't even know it's doing it. Um, it tells you what you're doing wrong and how to prove it. And you can actually see your graph also on what your movement is. I'm just going to do open training. And so it's set to CO2, uh, cause you can do CO2, live fire, dry fire. Uh, I am right handed and it's forward and I'm going to hit start. So we can get this loaded and I'll show you how it works. What happens when you shoot? So when I, when I shoot, what it's going to do is it's going to I'm gonna hit stop and we'll get analyze the data. So it tells me my average score is 73.6 and that's out of 100. In each shot, it was to give me a score and that's you know my score. My first one was like 90 something and then it kind of went to different ones. But each of these lines represent an error and these errors, uh, what they do is they'll explain what you're doing. So I can press on this and it's gonna tell me, so it basically it says, this is the way you should do it. This is what you're actually doing. Right. Now it's not a video of you actually doing it, of course. It just knows that that's what you're doing. Then it tells you what you're doing and how to fix it. Right. And so you can go through each error. And what you want to do is just focus on your main errors. So that was definitely my main error because I had like three times and one of them was really big. And these are some of the other errors. So like I said, you know, left and right was trigger finger placement. So in this case, it was too little trigger finger. So I, I didn't have enough of my trigger finger on it for that shot and that's what drove it all the way over there and tells me how to fix it. This is the main one that we see on new, sh new shooters. This pushing forward um, and it, they're basically hitting low on the target. So anyways, so it breaks that down. But then I can go to the, my graphs. Now these graphs are awesome because it's, it's this, this is the actual data on where what my gun was doing. So in this case, uh, these aren't so great because I wasn't actually aiming at a target. Uh, I was just kind of holding it in space. I was trying to hold it steady. But so this blue is like my hold control. So this is me holding the pistol on the target. So my target's somewhere in this area. The yellow is as I press the trigger. The X, which you can't really see, is the bang. And then the red is the recoil. So the X is right there. It's a white X. And what I can do is I actually hit play. So you can see I'm holding it. And then I press the trigger and it goes bang. Um, let me see if some of these other ones are a little bit better. So this one, the target's probably down here and I came up on it. And that one's just crazy because I wasn't actually aiming at a target, I was just holding it there in space. The other thing is I can go in my history and I can pull up all my history, like all the shots I've ever done. And let me find a good one. Okay, these ones might be good, I don't know. So here you can see these are, uh, this isn't me, this is some other shooter using it. And so you can see their errors and you click on it and see, like basically it tells you what you're doing on each of those errors. Uh, and then you can see the graphs. So on this, you can see that they were holding it. They were holding it really tight on the target, but as they press the trigger, look what happened. This yellow, it came all the way down here. The X is the bang and then the red's recoil. That's a huge, like, you know, so here they kind of work their way down. I don't know where the target is, somewhere around here maybe. Um, but anyways, the point is with this Mantis system. So you can see the target's over here. That's where they're holding it. Don't worry about these crosshairs. It doesn't really mean that's where the target is. It's just, they're just doing it as point of reference. And then there's the bang. So when we get new shooters and they're not hitting the target, but they're grouping pretty much in the same spot, they're like, man, my sights are off. And I'm like, uh, it's not your sights. It's it's you, <laughs> you know, but here's how you fix it, right? And that's the key because when you go to a shooting range by yourself and you're not hitting the target, it's like, well, what am I doing wrong? So this tells you what you're doing wrong. They're $160 for the cheaper one, but the amount of money you're going to save, if you go shoot, I mean, how many rounds of ammo does $160 buy you now? A range trip and how many rounds, you know, it's not that much. Um, the amount of money you're going to save on that and you're actually going to learn it does shooting doesn't teach you like it literally doesn't teach you It doesn't make you better. 
it just ingrains what you're already doing, which isn't necessarily a good thing. So we really believe in the Mantis system and literally we've, we've invested, I mean, a lot of money and we'll allow you to use these when you come to the range. I mean, we have a lot of them where you can use them when you come to the range. We'll let you use the laser inserts, try it out. Um, I mean, literally, you need a laser insert. If you got your own gun, you need one. It's an awesome training tool. And the Mantis is a really awesome training tool also. And you can use it for free. Uh, like, I saw a Mantis rep. Uh, he was the Ohio rep. And he took one of my instructor classes. He's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you have those many. He doesn't know anybody that has that many. Uh, but we want to train you. And we want you to know how to train yourself after you come to our class. And that's the important part.